around sometime last month, a fellow named Francius wrote to me proposing a topic for um, these videos. And he spoke about all the crazy, crazy shit that's happening in the world right now and what that means for hu humanity and uh, uh, specifically he asked how we as hermeticists are meant to respond to the crazy things that are happening in the world and to me the, the answer is what it's always been in all times, no matter how crazy, how tumultuous, how, yeah, how important they, they are. Um, hermetics, we say, know thyself. And I add to that, not just know thyself, that's not enough. We have to change ourselves. In initiation into Hermetic, the, the process of know thyself is the mirrors, the black and white mirrors, the positive and negative critique of ourselves. And fundamental, inherent in that process of examining the, the personality, the self, and saying this is positive, this is negative, is the recognition or realization of who we want to be, who we know resides within us from the very beginning. What is that positive self? What does that look like? Who is that? And so we begin to change ourselves. We begin to recreate ourselves to become that person we know we can be, that positive person, that intentional, positive, conscious, self-aware person. And all of that process leads us to being who we are. And that's the answer. Be who you are. Not who society says you should be. Not to this unconscious, habitual, uh, easy, thing that we became, but become who we truly are, that real person, that inner person that we are creating through this process of character transformation. As we come to know that person, as we come to create that person, we have to be that person. So, know thyself, change thyself, be thyself. It's all about this be thyself aspect of initiation. That's the essence of an hermetic initiation, to be yourself. And in this, in this process, in this Bardonian way, we're not only learning to be ourselves, but we're learning what that means. We're, we're learning uh, the powers and abilities that a human being possesses naturally, and we apply those to being ourselves, and with them, we be ourselves. Now, we are each utterly unique in the universe. There's only one of you, only one of each one of us. And 
And that's special. You know, our unique self has a very specific and unique power or ability uh, that we bring to existence, that we have to offer to the universe a special gift, a special way of being, of doing something. We each possess a, possess a special ability and this is what we must be <laughs> we must do we must create in the world from this place of our own unique special power a lot of people will say well i don't know i don't know what's special about me what I have to give that's unique, but it's your responsibility to find out what you possess that is unique in the world, that you can give to the universe and that only you have the power to give to the universe, to contribute. To, to add to the world uh, something positive and unique and powerful because of its uniqueness. You are the only one who can give this to the universe. So figure out <laughs> what that is. Find out what that is. And that is something that you come into in your initiation, as you get to know yourself, and as you get to creating this self that you want to be, you learn what power you have, and you have to exercise that, you have to make use of that, you have to present that as a gift to the universe. what Hermetics is all about. Being yourself. And that, that, that's so powerful. But that takes courage. In this world in which we live, it will take all of your courage to be, to truly be yourself. Not, it's not easy to be yourself. Because so many people are not being themselves. When you be yourself, the world responds. And sometimes it responds in ways that say, no, you can't be that. That's too unusual. That's too rare. That's too unique. That's too contrary. <laughs> and you have to say, fuck off. <laughs> I am me. This is me. Deal with. That takes daring, that takes courage to be who you are, to shine forth in spite of it all, in the face of it all, that takes courage. Daring, that's one of the fundamental qualities that we need to, as hermetic magicians, we need to bring out in ourselves daring, courage, to be who you are in the world. Now, I'm not going to tell you 
who that needs to be because then it would be me who you are trying to be instead of yourself. You have to discover who you are. Wow, that's an amazing process. And the result is something amazing in the universe, unique, that only you bring to the plate. Yes, yeah, sometimes it's not convenient in this world to be yourself. And you will find times that you need to modify this expression of yourself in order to fit in when you need to fit in. But you must do it from this place of intention and a full awareness full self-awareness of who you are. So when you modify, you need to modify intentionally, not habitually, not in these passive ways. You must be active. You must valiantly be who you are in every moment, whether or not anybody sees who you are, or values who you are. This is irrelevant. The opinions of others is irrelevant to who you are. That conscious self-awareness of who you are, that expression of who you are, that exercising of your own unique power in the world, that you add to the world what only you can add. You give that gift freely and openly because that's who you are. It takes courage. And it brings a sense of aliveness. A sense of joy. Because you are giving what you have to give. Being who you are. And that is my message to all hermetic magicians that's what we need to do, not only in this moment, but in all moments. It's of equal importance. You could say, especially now, when we're here at the edge of the precipice, the edge of this crazy world that's emerging. That's what we can do. That's really all that we can do to improve the world and to deal with the world. You know, in these such consequential times, we need to be our genuine, real self. Otherwise, the karmic consequences of this time will remain with us for eons. Okay? <laughs> That's my message for today. Bye-bye.